I've been attending a lot of Intel events lately, and at the last one, they made this PC right here. It actually has the Intel Core i7 14700K, which is very interesting because out of the lineup of the 14600K, 700K, and 900K, this one got the biggest boost in performance from the previous generation, the 13th generation. Also, this PC has the Intel Arc A770 limited edition GPU. So I'm really curious to see how well this performs because there have been a ton of updates, like driver updates, firmware updates for this GPU and the line of the Arc GPUs. So I wanna run some benchmarks to see how well this PC actually performs. And it's got some very fast RAM in it as well. One of the first pieces of software I always install on a new PC is Hardware Info 64 because look at all of this data that it tracks on the PC hardware. Temperatures, wattage, uh, fan speeds, like yeah, it's all there. 3 d Mark is another benchmarking application that I love to run because it's very consistent. All of the PCs that I have are going to run differently, but when you have a consistent benchmark like TimeSpy, Firestrike, and some of the newer ones like Port Royal and Speedway, it really gives you a nice baseline to work with. I love the lighting in this section. I'm also running this with the side panel off because I'm not really testing the airflow of this case right now. I just wanna know how well the Intel Arc performs as well as the 14700K. And what we have here are actually respectable results. The score is almost 14,000. So let's compare that online. And it's actually better than 75% of all results that have ran times by. So that is very respectable. So for a GPU that's ranging in Micro Center from around 250 bucks to $400 and a $400 CPU, you're getting pretty good performance for the price. Now there are a bunch of other benchmarks that I always like to run like Blender, Crystal Dismark, uh, Puget Benchmark, there's a list. But the point is, I'm familiar with the baseline, and so when I'm testing a system like this, I really know where it stands, and that gives me the opportunity to say, yeah, thumbs up, this is working great, especially paying attention to how loud a PC gets, the temperatures for the GPU or the CPU, is there any thermal throttling issues going on, and how's the cable management? 